Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Civilization VI running on Intel HD 5000 graphics. Uh, this is at the default settings of 1366 by 768 and the minimum detail settings. And before we start, I'd just like to say thank you to Intel for supplying us with a Steam code for the game uh, so that we can try it out. Uh, obviously, we're still going to give sort of honest feedback on how the game runs. I just have to make you aware of that up front. Um, and running through the benchmark test in the game, we see an average of, I think through the test, about 18 frames per second. So HD 5000 is giving us the lowest results of what we've tested thus far. Um, that does pull up to sort of mid 20s, we can see here sort of 23 frames per second as turns are taking place. But as with all the integrated graphics solutions we've tested, it does also drop off quite a bit um, while the AI is calculating its moves. So things should be reasonably responsive, not brilliant, but you should still be able to interact with the game sort of during the player turns. Um, it's just going to slow down while it's doing those sort of AI calculations between turns instead. Um, other than that though, the game does work correctly, um, you can see we don't have any rendering issues here. Obviously we've got the detail settings turned right down so it's not the best it can look. Um, but if you have a HD 5000 equipped Ultrabook or similar, I think the main system this is, chip was used in is the MacBook Air. Um, from a few years ago. So a system like that, you can see here while we're getting down into 13 frames a second It's not great, but for a turn-based strategy game like that this you're not it's not sort of game over for it It will run and be playable It just may not be as good an experience as you get on a newer or higher specification system. I Hope you found this video interesting and um, be sure to let me know what else you'd like to see us testing in the future in the comments um, we have a playlist of Civilization running on more um, integrated graphics platforms and discrete in the future as well. Um, so check those out and hit subscribe if you'd like to see new videos from us as they're posted. Thanks for watching.